Bonsoir, mes amis. Welcome back to Monaco. Uh, this is going to be a short little bonus video going into uh, enhanced mode. On December 17th, Pocket Watch Games released a game patch that changed the game out quite a bit. Um, there are a couple new areas in prison break mode. Uh, you know, they have these people now that talk about what happened. They changed a bunch of the levels and rebalanced it. In fact, the entire third floor of Prison Break has changed now. Uh, kind of giving you an idea of, you know, bl breaking line of sight on guards, because that wasn't necessarily obvious, I suppose, to them. Uh, they felt like it needed to be changed. So, there are a lot more walls in this area now. Uh, you can break line of sight much easier, and there's only one way from the bush or from the tunnels to get here. Meanwhile, this area up here has. Each, each of these three areas now has an exit over to where the escape vehicle is, so... It's a... Yeah, I feel like it's almost babying you, but then again, I played the game when it came out, so... Maybe I'm just one of those, uh... Old fogies who likes the way things used to be. My jacket the hairpin hasn't changed too much. Uh, you still have shotguns. Uh, there's still a bunch of coins. The main difference I can think of is up here by the traffic cones where the bird is, there's now only one opening, so you really can't even try to avoid the birds anymore. You just gotta shoot and run with it. On the uh, second floor, Monaco Railway, it's much smaller and there are a lot less guards. Whereas before, there was a left side that you had to pick your way through and there was a passenger train. Uh, you actually can't even get on the passenger train anymore, so just the playing area at the level is much smaller. Now on the shoreline, not much has changed. There's still the super secret cave and the mole and you dig your way to the left. But now it looks like there's another prisoner who escaped from the prison transport when it got knocked off. Uh, you'll see him on the left here in an orange jumpsuit. Uh, yeah, we'll be seeing him throughout the coming levels as well. Uh, he talks here about how, hey, we knocked out all of his teeth, so that's why he talks with a uh, lisp. Here he tells us uh, his name is Theth, or Seth, and uh, this is the Lebanese Embassy. It's changed a bit. Um, you no longer have to dodge any of these lasers to get past a guard or anything. Uh, there's also no longer a second floor with a library and computer bank. All the computers and everything to introduce you to viruses are now on the right side of the first floor. Um, I don't know how I feel about that change. I, I kind of liked it the old way again. Um, it gave you a sense of uh, the levels being bigger and getting used to it, but... One of the main complaints they cited when they talked about why they made this update and streamlined a lot of these levels is that the levels were too big. Um, I don't know if I necessarily buy into that, but again, maybe I'm just some idiot who craves too much of a challenge. Up on the main office, there's not a whole lot that's different. Um, you still pop in, you break the laser, and you grab the trophy. The only main difference I can think of is that the balcony that used to be on the second floor at the library is now down here at the bottom. Gives you an extra entrance into the ambassador's office if you need it. That's not a big difference, but it's a nice little touch. I guess they were really proud of the balcony, probably. Meanwhile, as we move on to Bank Albel, uh, Seth is here to tell us about something new. Uh, whereas before civilians would be standing on top of gold pieces, now they actually have wallets. Um, to be able to grab a wallet, you have to sneak up on a civilian and make sure they're not aware of you. If they're aware of you, then they'll clutch their pearls to their chest and you won't be able to grab the wallet from them. It's, uh, it's a nice little difficulty spike if you're used to being able to spook them away and grab it. On Manuel Michaudel, the third floor is significantly reduced. The gentleman is right here, and you can grab him right off the bat. 
about the only reason the third floor exists is to get you used to the concept of, oh, the gentleman can disguise, sneak in front of this guard, steal the gold, and no one will ever know. Uh, that works. La Porta Condamine has a couple differences. Um, Seth is here to tell you about dogs. I guess uh, jumping into vents may not have been as obvious as it was to me to lose their scent. Um, the major difference happens here on the second level and below. Uh, the entire upper right side here has been reduced. There's no longer any ladders to jump into or anything like that. Uh, but the biggest difference is that the ship is now smaller. Whereas before there were maybe four or five different sections just on the ship that you had to get through. Now it's been reduced to just two levels. You have uh, the docks level that we're on now, or three levels rather. The docks, the street level, and uh, the bridge. The crossbow traps have been removed in favor of the C4 traps. If you trip the tripwire, the C4 will activate, and then after about a second or two it'll go off. I don't actually think I've seen any crossbow traps in enhanced mode. So it's possible they decide that maybe it was a uh, maybe it was a little bit too difficult. Street level hasn't changed much. Uh, the only way to get on the boat is still on the docks level. Again, the crossbow traps have been replaced with these uh, C4 traps. If you trip the C4 and get caught in the blast, it's going to cause a little bit of damage, but it's not going to instantly kill you. It will also destroy any terrain around it, just like C4 you can pick up. Here on the bridge, um, there are no more guards, no more laser traps, you just have to grab the gold and that's it. So, take it as you will. On the scorpion and the frog, the only difference is Seth is here saying, Hey, this is a fire truck, you need to escape on it. That's, that's it. Centre Hospitalier uh, didn't really have that much differences, so I didn't include it in here. The only thing is the uh, second floor is not as uh, maze-like. As you can see here on the bottom floor of Secure Attack, I mean, there are almost no guards. I don't even have to slow down when I'm running through here, I just have to keep running to get away from the lasers, and that's about it. I don't like this change, you know, it doesn't prepare you for dodging around them, so I don't know. Museo Cinegrafique. Pierre's hideout is now right here where we start. Uh, the entire upper right side of the uh, of the caves here is just no longer existent. So, Discotheque Rouge, Seth pops up to give us a little bit of useless information. Thanks, Seth. And uh, you can notice here on the left side that there's a key on this bench. This is a new mechanic as well. You have to pick up the key and open key doors. Keys are the only things that will open the key doors, so they work sort of like the uh, handprint doors. Okay, good job, Seth. And uh, he'll pop up once more in uh, Gallery of Art, uh, talking about the Mona Lisa, actually. So, how about that? He's an, he's an art goer. Meanwhile, uh, since I'm on Gallery of Art, I wanted to redo this section here on the bottom right. Since I screwed up the first time, I just want to go through here and do it the, do it the right way. Yes. See you next time.